My name is Charles Sullivan. My father and I had been owners of the New England Patriots football team, one of the finest teams in American football. When I was in the U.S. Army, I was producer of the Bob Hope Christmas Show. I had been also the founding managing partner of a law company called O'Melveny and Myers. I've also been involved in a number of events. Uh, just recently, I was co-producer of a calligraphy event at the Harvard Club. And uh, I'm president of a company called Premier Event Management. July of 1969, my job was to prepare a briefing book for President Nixon. Richard Nixon was, was one of our greatest presidents. He had a, an incredible understanding of uh, foreign policy. He understood the nuance, nuances of, of the culture of any place he visited. It was most interesting because at that point, China was still in a development mode and uh, Richard Nixon recognized with a billion and a half people, this was a, a country whose friendship he should seek and, uh, and support a long-term relationship with China. I think President Nixon uh, did an awesome job in recognizing the importance of connecting the two nations and uh, Richard Nixon's foresight. Uh, even today, we are benefiting from it and uh, I had the pleasant opportunity uh, in July this year to participate with the Council General in a celebration at the Sheridan Hotel in Flushing, celebrating the 40th anniversary of the opening of the window. My father had been the co-founder with Lamar Hunt and Baron Hilton of the American Football League and was the owner of the Patriots and he asked me to join him in that ownership. It was uh, the family business. When the father of the family asked the son to join the family business, the answer 99% of the time is yes. Patriots were founded in 1959 and the first season was in 1960 and uh, I was involved in management for 20 years beginning in 1970. The Patriots over the last five years have been rated in the top five of the National Football League. I think it's a result of the, the popularity of the game, popularity of the, of the television. For the first Super Bowl, the, it was a game between the American Conference champion, which was the Kansas City Chiefs uh, and the Green Bay Packers. And uh, my job at that, at that was to co-produce representing the American Football League. Together we co-produced that first Super Bowl. As the competition between the American Football League and the National Football League heated up, all of America wanted to see that game because it was a question as to which league was presenting uh, better football. And during that time, I was chairman of the Management Council Executive Committee of the Football League, which was in charge of the labor negotiations uh, for, the, for the Football League. One of the assignments I had was dealt with the collective bargaining agreement with, with the players. The collective bargaining issues in a, a sports league involved the rights of players and uh, the rights of the owners. The biggest challenge is the players' union wants to not have more regular season games and the uh, some in the ownership group want to have more games. The second friction point is that the players want a higher percentage of the gross. They should have a bigger share of the pie. The owner's argument is that they have invested lots of money and, and, and time and energy in promoting the game and now the NFL is the most popular spectators in America. The uh, law school training was helpful to me in that. I engaged outside counsel to assist me with that. It was, was very useful for me to have some background in that. Today the biggest issue is managing the cap on player salaries and, and managing that in an effective way. Players, uh, athletes, uh, they have the right to express their, their opinions, as, but it's no more appropriate for them to kneel during the game than it would be on a Broadway show for a, uh, the lead actor uh, who's uh, unhappy with uh, civil rights issues to kneel in the middle of the performance. Expressing your, your concern and your issues are appropriately dealt outside of the court or outside of the football field. I en enjoy very much 
putting on events and seeing the joy that they, they bring to people. And one of my most uh, wonderful experiences was that I, I co-produced with a, a Chinese lady named Lily Li from Beijing visit of, the, uh, of, of student groups from America to mainland China for the Beijing Joyful Dance Festival. The most recent group to go was a, a group of uh, 12 from the Police Athletic League, which is from the inner city of New York. These uh, students, none of them had ever been outside of the five boroughs of New York, and suddenly they were in China. One of the shows was at the uh, Bird's Nest Arena next to the big stadium, and it was so joyful for me to, to see thousands of Chinese students uh, waving American flags in the bird's nest and uh, I felt well this is such a warm welcome. It was a wonderfully uh, joyful experience. Each year also with uh, Lily Lee I co-produced the Chinese New Year concert which this year is scheduled for February 7 at Carnegie Hall and we bring together uh, Chinese artist and American artist and utilize uh, the performing arts as a means of promoting stronger relations between America and China. The Harvard Club was founded 135 years ago and we have uh, multiple events, uh, lectures, uh, concerts. Many of the lecturers are from uh, Harvard professors, people in arts and entertainment and politics. We had recently Eric Schmidt who is the former chairman of the uh, Alphabet. He gave a, a great speech and we had uh, Steve Ross, the developer of Hudson Yards, also the, the Harvard Club uh, Education Scholarship Committee, helps to expedite the interviewing process for New York uh, City-based applicants to Harvard. Every year, the Harvard Club Foundation provides two scholarships to the Kennedy School for senior officers of the uh, New York Police Department. Of February we have the Chinese New Year concert. 17th of March we have the 20th anniversary of the St. Patrick Day Spectacular for the benefit of the FBI charities. We have the uh, UN Film Festival in May and the Asian Film Festival in October. In all three of those, of those industries, most important uh, part is keeping in touch, following up, not forgetting anything. I have good partners and we have many expectations of continued success.